Today, we got something super exciting that's coming to New World. It is the next new weapon. It's not 100% confirmed, but it's basically confirmed that this is the next new weapon. In the recent dev vlogs, the devs did say that this is coming pretty soon here. And so we may actually see it in the next PTR. If we do see it in the PTR, what's really awesome is the fact that it's going to set a precedence of the upcoming patches. Looking back, we did get the Void Gauntlet in November. So if we do get this new weapon in January, it does look like we are going to be getting some big game changing things about every two months. Not that the expertise system was a small feat, but I do see it as more of touching up on some of the old systems rather than adding in new things. And I don't know about you, but in my opinion, that's a really awesome schedule. I feel like that's a good time to let the Void Gauntlet kind of die down and then hit another a big jump to get people interested in the game again. Hopefully this does happen because after hearing about what the devs said about this weapon in the dev vlog, I'm really excited for it. So hopefully it comes soon. So the weapon that seems to be coming soon is the Blunderbuss, and I'm sure you guys have heard about it and all the leaks and all the stuff that's gotten out. But if you don't know what a blunderbuss is, is it's basically a shotgun. In the real world, it can come in both a rifle and a pistol form, so we're not sure exactly which version of that we're going to see. It is possible that the female pirates are using blunderbusses as their pistols, but we have heard through the grapevine that pistols are coming to New World as well. So I'm assuming if they do have pistols and the blunderbuss, that the blunderbuss is going to come in the rifle form. So I wrote down some of the quotes that the devs brought up, and I do want to break it down to try to get a grasp on how this weapon's actually going to play. So they talked about the blunderbuss versus the musket, which I think is another hint that the blunderbuss is going to be coming in rifle form. And what they said is the blunderbuss is more exciting, more explosive, more chaotic. It has navigational tools and it's more of a run and gun style. So in that quote alone, there's a lot of stuff to break down. So comparing it to the musket, the musket is very much a weapon that you sit back, you take aim and you kind of poke people down from a long range. They already cleared up that the blunderbuss is not going to be like that. They said it's going to be like short to mid range. And they also said that it is going to be a run and gun style. So consider Considering that the blunderbuss is basically a shotgun, it's going to be much more of an in-your-face playstyle, even though it is a ranged weapon. So when he said more explosions, what immediately came to my mind is that it's going to have a good bit of AoE attacks. Again, it is a shotgun, so it's probably going to have a spread to how it fires. But I think on top of that spread, we're also going to get abilities that are meant to hit multiple targets. When I think of stuff like this, I think of things like Splinter Shot from the bow or possibly even Rain of Arrows. I do think that this weapon is going to play a lot more like the bow than it is the musket. But I do think it's going to be shorter range than the bow. That's because I think that the bow and the blunderbuss are going to form different slots as far as range. So if you want to play a short ranged weapon, you'd go with the blunderbuss. And if you want to go more medium to long range, you can go with the bow. However, I do think we're going to see a pretty similar play style between the blunderbuss and the bow, because when they said navigational tools, what I thought about was that it's going to be something like evade shot off the bow or just evade from the rapier that would play into the run and gun style like they were talking about. You're going to be up in somebody's face and you're going to be dodging their attacks and slightly kiting them since I do think it is going to be a shorter range weapon. So I think this weapon is going to play kind of like a hybrid of the rapier and the bow and just have a high mobility, high burst output. And I think it's going to be it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I love weapons like that. Another big thing that they did say was that it's going to pair well with some melee weapons and possibly some staffs. And then they went on to make a joke about that being a hint at what the weapon scales with. So when they say possibly staffs, I mean, there's only two they can talk about. It's either the fire staff or the life staff. And that means that it's possibly going to scale with intelligence or focus. But as a general rule that they were saying that they wanted to do when they added in new weapons is that they wanted to fill in gaps. An example that they gave was that the life staff didn't have any clear pairings as far as attributes go. So when they added in the void gauntlet, they made it scale with focus. So that way it fit more with the life staff. So thinking about all that information with the blunderbuss is that we don't have anything that really goes with strength and intelligence or dexterity and focus. Personally, I don't really see the logic in it pairing with strength weapons unless maybe you have some sort of melee attacks you can do with it. So with that in mind, I'm thinking it's either going to be dexterity and intelligence, just like the musket is or dexterity and focus, because that's going to fit into the filling the gap narrative that they've been telling. But similarly to how the Void Gauntlet has Oblivion, which does an area of effect debuff, maybe we can have some things that are area of effect buffs for your teammates. So if they add that, I could see it logically making sense with focus. But personally, I would love another dexterity intelligence weapon because I just love dexterity and intelligence. If you want to be prepared for when this weapon comes out and make sure that you don't have any other expertise to focus on, be sure to check out this video here to let you up your expertise faster. Let me know what you think about the blunderbuss and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed. My name is Marcus and thanks for watching.